what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to show you guys how i touch up my roots to get this pretty brown color how i install my clip-ins and curl it and all that other good stuff i've been wearing this color all my life with well, at least the last 10 years but i use the pravana color line the shade is 10.1 and i use 30 volume now if you decide to do this color make sure you read the instructions i definitely eye this because i've been doing it for so long but if you see the color in the store the swatch is gonna look like a really light ash like white blonde however don't worry your hair will not come out that light especially if you're starting from a dark brown now i'm only applying the color at the root where my hair is dark because if i pull it through the ends it's gonna make it too light and then i'm already experiencing a little bit of breakage so i just don't want to cause like any extra nothing when it comes to the ends of my hair i just want my roots to be a little bit lighter so i can look back vibrant and fresh now i do dye my eyebrows and i do not recommend that you try this at home i just like doing my eyebrows when i freshly color my hair because it just makes it look a lot more natural like it could be my natural hair so i did go to the back and shampoo this out now make sure that you always use a neutralizing shampoo when you are washing out your color and then i also have the shampoo on my eyebrows so we can stop the color from working there because we do not want my eyebrows to be too light now this is a huge psa disclaimer if your hair like if you have dyed your hair jet black or dark brown or red or any existing colors on your hair i cannot guarantee or i can almost 100 percent guarantee you that if you use this color on top of your existing color it will not come out like this so definitely consult with a licensed professional before you decide on coloring your hair or changing your hair color as you can see i blow dried my hair yes i used a blow dryer with a comb attachment because it would be a nightmare if i tried to blow dry my hair without a comb attachment and the blow dryer that i used is a h2 pro blow dryer the mini iron which is a half an inch iron is also by h2 pro my main flat iron is my Go Sleek flat iron, and this is a ceramic flat iron that heats up to 470, but I'm only using heat at 380 because my hair texture is fine and it doesn't take a lot of heat to get it straight. So you can see it's nice and straight now, and now I am going to add my, my clip-ins. Now, I previously colored my clip-ins a few weeks ago. Of course, my clip-ins are from the Go Sleek Clip-In Collection. These are the Follicle Fusion Kai Kinky Curly Clip-ins. I prefer curly clip-ins because when you straighten it out it's not super silky and then it's also a little bit thicker of course i am using my go sleek flat iron here and my hair holder when i tell you this hair holder saves my life with holding the hair and it helps me really get the clip in straight so if you've been putting your clip-ins inside of a drawer you do not have to do that anymore if you get a hair holder. this set of clip-ins is 16 inch and the 16 inch has 10 pieces in it I always install my first one like right above my ear area. The first clip-in that I'm installing here is actually a piece from an older seamless clip-in set that I had. But I wanted to use this piece because if you look a little bit closer, this one has like a few lighter like close to blonde pieces in it that I like. And then this clip right here is the actual follicle fusion clip-in. I wish I could have gotten the roots just a little bit lighter, but I didn't let the color process as long as I should have. But once I put all of my hair over the tracks, you will not be able to tell. It will still look good. I wear clip-ins because I feel like my hair is on the thinner side. It's always been that way. It's more so hereditary for me, but my hair is not my ideal length at this time. And so I feel like clip-ins are easy to install. They give me the ideal length that I want and definitely the density. And I just install them as needed or like when events come up or something like that. Now it's very rare that I sleep in my clip-ins. I don't recommend that you sleep in your clip-ins, but if you do, don't exceed one to two nights. Now to the curl part. So it can be hard trying to curl your own hair with a flat iron, but if you know how to do it, you are a pro. You probably would not believe if I told you I don't know how to use like a regular curling iron and especially not on my hair. So a flat iron is always my go-to. I always curl my hair like away from my face. So the side that I'm curling now, I curl kind of going backwards as you can see. And I always point my flat iron vertical facing down at the floor. 
this like gives me like a loose wave kind of look, I guess, like not too tight, but this is just how I've been curling my hair for years. And I hope this tutorial is helpful when it comes to curling your hair. Can you curl your hair with a flat iron or a curling iron? Comment below if you are a flat iron girl or a curling iron girl. I wanna see if you are anything like me, but you can already see here that the curls are curling. The color looks amazing. The clip-ins are blending. Like this is all coming together, y'all. Y'all know I'm gonna say this is definitely given. This is my real hair. Don't ask me if it's fake because it's not, it's all mine. So what do you guys think? I think it turned out perfect. Of course, I'm gonna think it turned out perfect. It's my hair, but I would love to know your thoughts in the comments. And if you have any questions that you want me to answer, definitely comment below. Make sure you follow the Instagram at Hair. Follow us on TikTok at Hair. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you guys next time.